Hey guys, it's the Solo Cloth here, and today in today's monster analysis video, we're going to be going over Marlinaut, and I'm going to be telling you guys why he is a good attacker and why you should get him out of the current breeding event. So let's go ahead and get right into it. Alright, so Marlinaut is going to have the trait Possession Immunity, Super Tune, and Self True Vision. Honestly, those are not very great traits, so don't really worry about that. And his relics are Essence and Mask, which are really good. And his pros are, of course, the first and main thing he has is access to pierce pierce is really really good on an attacker it means that he can hit through evasion area dodge and mega taunt he can also boost damage output with extra turns which is of course really good and he can drain stamina with drown and stamina leak and not only does he have damage boost but he also has pierce precision stamina regeneration and true vision he also has really good stats as is to his zero cooldown skill so cooldown activation is not a problem for him and he has good relic slots and his cons are all of his damaging skills are water his extra turns can be anticipation bait he is a bad trait and he requires a turn to set up pierce which that one is probably his biggest con now if we go on down to his moves he has a regular attacker one and an extra turn attacker one so in his regular attacker move set he has an aoe 40 water damage with bleed he has a 70 water damage with drown which is a really good move he has a self pierce with true vision and a stamina regen which is really good and he has a 40 water damage zero cooldown one and then his extra turn attacker one is going to have a shark's food which is the aoe 40 damage bleed he also has the sharp fin and flawless aim ones which are the pierce and the 70 water damage one and then he has a 25 water damage with stamina leak and extra turn and a 20 water damage with drowned and extra turn so i would probably go with this move set if you are looking to use this monster because his extra turn moves are actually really good so when using this monster i would go with the extra turn moveset and I would try to get a monster to block damage for him so that he can set up pierce before attacking. So yeah, if you can do those two things, then this monster is actually really, really good and definitely worth using. So yeah, let me know down in the comments if you end up getting this monster out of his current breeding event and I'll see you guys in the next one. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Goodbye.